Hello, in this tutorial I will discuss the rule for the variable declarations, variable integer type, different data types, what are the data types, how you can use it, how it can store the data in a variable. So let's start with variable name. So rule for the variable declaration for an example x is equal to 4 the x is a variable so what are the rules for declaration x y z or anything like this one so name must begin with underscore or a letter so you can use the letter x y z or you can start with the underscore okay next rule name not be longer than 255 five characters when you shorter than this number you can use the character okay it cannot be exist in a reserved keyword for vv of vv like string you cannot dim string as a number you cannot dim sub as a numbers or integer or string type so you don't use this type of word for declaration the variable simply use x y z my number my string for okay so don't use space dash etc uh, it may be show error in examples so let's start how it declare the variables so dim x as integer we use dim word for variable declarations okay x holds the number without fraction or decimal part because it is an integer type so it cannot hold fractional value it can hold minus value zero value one well positive value you can use not fractional values number of ways you can define the integer type you can assign the here values you can in one line two time type can use so the c as an integer k as an integer in one line two variable is declares so dim fg as as another style for declaring the variables you can assign the values and x equal to 4 you see here is an is integer type here you can use the as an integer type variable use the memory of the 4 byte okay you can store here like this type of the range of the numbers okay another for the large number or less number you can use as a like short my integer as a short it hold it occupy the two bytes you can use a long which occupy the eight byte if you number is so large you can store large number you can declare dim my as a long so this type of the data type is available for the integer type you know a long short and integer it can hold the integer type not for fractional values for fractional value it is a different data type is available I will discuss later in this video how much and how many data types are fractional values so I these variable display in message box let's check how it work so this is a variable f4 7 8 10 34 which is also here present i declare here you see here and i click on this window integer type 4 here i assign the x equal to 4 so it taking the 4 value so I here line the 7 is declared so 7 is coming here 8 and 10 in one line so F is 12 and 34 is another lines so 
these are these are the different style to declaring the variables so here we assigning the variable values so it unused local variables means you I have not assigned the value not assign the value to the my variables so what are the decimal or fractional value or string type variables let's see you can write two white okay so in this uh, button click event I use the decimals dim y as it doubles it can hold the fractional value so it occupy uh, something like 8 byte so use single for uh, less number of fractional values it occupy 4 byte use decimal for it long this fractional value it occupy the 12 byte is also hold the fractional value single decimal double hold the fractional value it's just occupying the different memory in your systems so you use you can use any type of data type single decimal double for using the fractional value similarly string one as a string I am not declaring a string as a string because string is a keyword of visual basics I cannot sub as a string because sub is a reserve keyword for the visual basics okay so string one as a string it can hold store the group of character like hello so I store the hello word and they appear in message box let's check so okay cancel you here hey 4.5 here and hello here I not using the space so it's come with strings okay if I here use this space like stop the debugs here so tab here to use so let's check again so it's coming far from the value so this is a hello okay this is all about the string and the um, decimals value now another type of the data type is the date as a date it can store the date or time like this one you can store also time and mess box appear as my dear then other type is the billion type it can store true or false zero or one if dim is my as an teaser I assign the value four if it number equal to four then qw equals to true because it is a true it can store the true value so let's check how it work so it's date is coming 7223 okay and true coming so these are the data types are available in visual basic you can store the string uh, date and a boolean type and the doubles double has a decimal fractional single decimal double for integer type you can use the integers short long for storing the integer type variables declare as a short as a long so these are the available for these are the rules for uh, declaring the variables so you can use any things like my number my name so John as a string as a you can use any type but please don't and do is like this one rules so these are about the variables decoration in visual basics please like and subscribe my channel
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग